Hi, Christina. This is Dr. Becker. Um, we're going to look at page 69 in your book and using the pentascales with these different patterns. And um, with uh, variation one, I think it would be nice to start with that and use a kind of, when you're using your thumb, you want to be just kind of flicking this way. And then when you flick your fingers, try to operate from this knuckle joint here, this knuckle joint here. Because that's that would be good technique. So with the right hand, it would be, and with when you get to the quarter note, you can do a little bit of a roll up. And just for the sake of efficiency, I'm going to do the left hand in C minor. And then you can roll through G major and all that good stuff. Here's D flat. Here's C sharp minor. So you might want to start off doing variation one hand separately because that gives you a chance to focus on each hand. And I would do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I would do maybe two or three keys a day and just rotate through all the keys. Don't do all of them every day. Your family will go mad. But um, just keep track of what you're doing and do three different keys a day on variation one. We'll eventually get through all the variations. And then turn the page to pages 70 and 71, and we'll do these scale prep exercises. So the first two are just using fingers one and two and you kind of pivot your second finger on the key so your thumb gets really close to the next key so pivot thumbs there pivot and then crossing over you just let your thumb collapse with your left hand you can see it better probably pivot Just roll like a log roller. Then the next one is one, two, three, so you pivot on three. The last one on page 71 is one, two, three, four. And that all gets your hand ready to do scales.